In the process of translation, the sequence of nucleotides in mRNA determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. This figure shows an example of how transcription is followed by translation. Before we go any further, you need to understand that the genetic code is a triplet code in which three nucleotides in mRNA specify one amino acid in a protein. Sets of three nucleotides that code for a specific amino acid are known as codons. Each codon specifies a particular amino acid. For example, the first codon shown in the diagram, CGU, instructs the ribosome to put the amino acid arginine as the first amino acid in this protein. Note that 12 nucleotides in the diagram code for four amino acids. How many amino acids will 66 nucleotides code for? Recall from Unit 2 that the basic building block of a protein is the amino acid. But how are the right amino acids added in the right sequence to match the sequence of codons in the mRNA? First, inside each cell, tiny organelles called ribosomes provide a workbench with the structure needed for translation to take place. Second, a special type of RNA called transfer RNA or tRNA is required to ensure that the correct amino acid is brought in to match each codon in the mRNA strand. tRNA and amino acids are found free-floating in the cytoplasm. The tRNA codon has a triplicate code of nucleotides on one end called an anticodon. Enzymes are responsible for binding the correct amino acid to the correct tRNA molecule. Translation begins when the mRNA molecule is trapped by the two subunits that make up the structure of the ribosome. The ribosome proceeds to scan the mRNA molecule until it encounters the start codon AUG. The tRNA molecule which carries the complementary anticodon, UAC, binds to the ribosome and delivers the methionine amino acid. A tRNA bound to its amino acid that is able to base pair with the next codon on the mRNA arrives at the A site. The preceding amino acid, methionine at the start of translation, is covalently linked to the incoming amino acid with a peptide bond. The initiator tRNA moves to the E site and the ribosome moves one codon downstream. This shifts the most recent tRNA from the A site to the P site, opening up the A site for the arrival of a new tRNA molecule. The tRNA residing in the E site is released from the complex. The tRNAs in the P site and the A site shift over and the next amino acid is added to the growing polypeptide chain. This cycle repeats until a stop codon is reached. Translation ends when the ribosome reaches a stop codon, either UAA UAG or UGA. There are no tRNA molecules with anticodons for stop codons. Instead, protein release factors recognize these codons when they arrive at the A site. Binding of a release protein causes the polypeptide or protein to be released from the ribosome. The ribosome subunits dissociate from each other and can be reassembled later for another round of protein synthesis, and the protein produced 
will fold into its final shape and be shipped to where it is needed.